Welcome to the course. I'm Nick Lever and I've been developing 3D content for the browser for over 20 years. Until recently, showing 3D in the browser meant using a plugin. But now full 3D capabilities are built into all modern browsers, including mobile devices. WebGL allows the JavaScript developer to show great 3D content. But WebGL is a very low level specification so getting complex assets to display demands a great deal of code. But there is a great library that makes all the complexity much, much easier for the developer. That library is 3GS, originally created by Mr. Doob, Ricardo Cabello, in 2010. The library has matured into one that is used by many blue chip companies. In this course, I'll take you from your first tentative steps to becoming a full on 3GS expert. In small, incremental stages, I will take you through this amazing open source library. 3GS has hundreds of developers helping with the development and it's constantly improving. The course is split into seven sections. In section one, we'll begin with 3D basics and a really simple app displaying three rotating cubes. We'll go on to look at the 3GS online editor and some helpful debugging techniques. In section two, we'll study the way we can create objects that we can display in our apps, gently improving your knowledge and skill. In section three is all about hierarchies and cameras. You'll learn the effect of parenting an object to another and some great tips on how to move your 3D virtual camera around. In section four, we look at lighting and shadows. Yes, you can have real time shadows in a browser. Section five is all about sourcing, creating and loading complex 3D assets. We look at how you can use the free 3D application program Blender to edit and convert assets sourced from some great online libraries. Section six explores the superb 3GS animation system. And section seven completes your journey as you learn how to harness GLSL to create your own shaders. What do you need to join in? Actually, the only thing you'll need is a browser because all code examples are via CodePen where you can work along with the videos without any development tools other than your browser. If you prefer to work with your own text editor, then that's another option. The course is hands-on and you're asked on many occasions to pause the video still in its infancy, but with modern devices and their 3D capabilities, and with the amazing 3GS library, the only limitation is imagination. If you can dream it, you Now mobile devices have fantastic 3D capabilities. There's never been a better time to start to learn the amazing things you can create using 3D in the browser. I look forward to showing you how you can easily master the techniques you need to develop stunning 3D visualizations.